Well, hello guys. Long time no see. It's Tiffany back again. And I know it's been quite a while since you guys have seen me. I have uh, had a little health hiccup. Um, I've had two surgeries since the last time we chatted. Um, but I am back. I am feeling blessed. I am feeling better than ever. Um, so today... Um, it's about 2.30 central time here on a Saturday. It's been raining all day. And I just felt the need to reconnect with you guys. I've had several of you reach out to me on Instagram. Several of you reach out to me on Facebook. And just let me know that you missed me out here. And I, I you know, you really don't know how much that means to me. Um, especially with everything that I've had going on. So I really appreciate the love. And I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys on some mail art today. Um, I'm not having uh, tea or coffee today. I'm having a little kombucha. And um, we'll get started. So what I'm going to be using today is the craft um, envelopes. They are the 6 by 9 inch. As you can see here, I got these at the liquidation store um, on discount, but I'm sure you can find them at any dollar store or big box location um, out there. So grab you a few of those. That's what I'll be using. Um, what we're going to do is actually cut the envelope down the side and down that side so it'll open up like this. Okay. I hope you can see me okay. I can't really see my angle in the uh, camera up there. but So I've already went ahead and done that with a few because if you have seen any of my videos, I work pretty quickly and I am extremely impatient when it comes to waiting on paint to dry. So I usually work on multiple things at uh, one time. But we're just going to slice it with a pair of nice sharp scissors right down that. Why in the world would we want to do so? Well, if you have seen my work, you know that I like to uh, use stitching and different elements. And so by doing that, it allows me to be able to work on a, sur a surface um, like this. So it's almost like working in a journal um page or something so i'm kind of liking doing my envelopes like this right now so what i have over here to the side is just a piece of uh drop paper or under paper as you can see i use newsprint um for that and it gets really yummy and just got some good, really good texture and paint going on there. And I was going to use my Yes Paste, but because I haven't used it in so long, I'm going to have to have my husband try to get the top unstuck. But between me and the scissors, uh, I got slightly injured earlier, so I decided that I would just put it to the side. Yeah, my IV, I had a big old purple bruise on here. My IV spot... It took forever to heal, but it's not looking too bad for you guys today. So we're just going to you who this. And any adhesive or any glue stick that you have, you who is just what um, I find to work very good in such a humid area that I live in. I'm going to go ahead and take these prongs and just poke those up a little bit. But just get it good. And then we're going to take that under paper or collage paper or jelly print paper or whatever it is that you have that you might be using and we're just going to scrape it okay as you see i just scraped that down it doesn't matter nothing's changed with me it does not affect me if that something happens i think it's sometimes adds to the uh cool factor or adds a little something whenever you get that extra texture with the wrinkles and stuff so don't stress over it it's no biggie we're gonna flip this around and i just usually do one half at a time so that my paper my glue doesn't get stuck 
and I can kind of cover it all with that too. Hmm. Now we're just going to go push that back. Hopefully y'all can see all this and I'm not bumping the table too much. As you can see down here, it kind of picked up a little. And I'm a little off on the edge. No biggie. So then we're just going to flip this around and we're going to go back with our scissors. And we're just going to take that extra excess that we had and just trim it off. And I can tell a little of the edges up here didn't stick that good. That's okay. We'll go back and we can use that glue stick and uh, tack it down. And I have been noticing I'm getting a lot of new viewers. So if you're new to my channel, I sorry I haven't been around, but I'm back and. I'm just praying that everything is on the mend now and I won't have any more issues. So as you know, that little hole right here, if you have a hole punch, uh, I'm going to try to reach it. If you try to have, if you have a hole punch, you can just go ahead and punch it out. If not, you could just stick it through. You could just stick it through on the other side. So now... You know, we can really just send it like that. I really like that. But, nah, we got more work to do here. So, I'm going to get out my gesso. Any, um, if you don't have gesso, you can use just a uh, plain, heavy acrylic paint. This that I'm using, I really like this brand. It's called the Master's Touch. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. Oh, Lord. <sighs> well, whew. All right. I've got some wild string going on over there. Okay, so what I'm looking for now is my well-used palette knife. It has been good to me. I love this palette knife. And we're just going to scrape over some gesso, okay? And the reason why I'm doing that, and I do it in a lot of my work, is because... Um, We've got so much lovely goodness down there. I don't want to cover it all up, but I do like the way gesso in these new neo color twos kind of work together. And I'm thinking that's enough. Just like that, get messy. Hopefully, I didn't shake the camera around too much. And I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is pretty dry now. And all we want to do is this is the Stabilo All um, pencil. My hand system got messy because I've been doing something else. Um, and I'm just going to make some swirly whirlies and just, you know, just whatever your heart desires. And then, before I wet that, I'm going to go ahead. This is, I don't have the exact stamp that it's called. I think it's called Ledger. But it's um, Las Vegas Stamp Company. Um, it's a stamp that they provided me for a project I did uh, for them back in February, I think it was. And I'm just going to use that. I like it because it's so small and light, like the lines. Like maybe you can see what I'm talking about there. But in no particular way... 
life is too short to have to worry about if it's all lined up and stuff. So, I'm just going to do it like this and like that and get you some really good marks. And I'm going to clean it off over here because this under paper will one day be an opportunity for some other collage or whatever. So, before I start with the water to activate the Stabilo, I'm just going to go... And I might do it with my left hand too. This is some Neo Color 2 um, purple marker. I don't have very many. I just got this little 10 of 10. A ta! 10 of 10. And um, I haven't, to be honest, really used them that much. Um, and so I'm learning how to use them as I go and we're just going to take a wet brush here and activate the Neo Color I try to do the same color at the time And I just like it messy, so I'm not really trying to get a pattern. And it's okay if it runs into that other. Doesn't make me any difference. I just like making a mess. You know, there's so many rules and regulations to everything we do. It feels good just to have a little freedom and cut loose and make a mess and do that. Alright, so I'm going to go dry this up. Um, may actually go and spend a little QT with the hubby. And then by the time I get back, it should be dry. We should be ready to move on to the next stamp. See you in a minute. Okay, and so now I'm going to come back. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, so now I've got this one with the little lip on it and I'm starting to think now about orientation and how this is all going to come together okay and so over here beside me ow, man that thing's tough everything's giving me fits today I've got a little of this uh, heavy body titanium white master's touch Hobby Lobby special again I've got this acrylic craft smart paint and Americana um, Deco Arts Margarita. I love that color. Man, I love that color. It makes me want to have a margarita. <laughs> um, I just love that lime color that it is. Okay, so what we're going to do is just begin to play. Um, I think I want to have a little few little polka dots. I don't really know why I got that brush out either because I usually do this with my fingers. Just a little few here. And then uh, just taking a little, oh, oh, you can't even see me. And just taking a little bit of that, toning down the white that there is a little kind of rubbing our finger in that margarita that margarita um green uh, all right, I'm just thinking it's kind of bringing all the colors together dabbing a little bit of the white white in here okay and I'm thinking of course the signatures I mean not the signature Jesus but you know what I'm talking about where the address is gonna go we're gonna put it down here on this side and I'm just using my finger to do that because I don't want to just a stark white spot I kind of want it 
be like it just her signature or whoever signature this is going to just kind of creeps into the background you know out of the background and kind of lifts up and then um I'm just getting a regular old pencil actually I think this is a Darwin pencil but whatever a regular old number 10 will work just fine a number 10 <laughs> Number two pencil. Lord, how mercy, y'all. I haven't been on the air in forever. Can't even talk to y'all these days. Just going to come over here and make some little gibberly spots. You know, I might make these into some number signs. and Just messy. Um, I was in a class, and as you can see, this is lifting up. I was in a class, actually. Um, I took a class in March with uh, Tracy Vertigo from Australia. Amazing artist. If you ever get an opportunity and you can take her class, please do. I met a lot of amazing ladies there. We had a really good time. But she... Um, You know, she just does a lot of intuitive painting and kind of going with the flow and just doing whatever feels right. So, I don't ever, I won't say that. I typically do not have an idea as to what I'm going to do. Um, however, my friend, Angela, hi Angela. Um, she had a fit when she saw that I had posted these teardrop stickers and stuff. And so I sent her some. Um, she got them in the mail the other day. And I, I may actually open up a little Etsy shop if anybody might be interested in, uh, you know, getting some of these. But they're cute to use in your, um planner and stuff too but I, I might actually do a video on showing you guys how to to if you have a, I use a um, silhouette cameo silhouette and I can definitely show you how to how I made them it wasn't hard at all but she really liked the mail art and how it come and that you know that's what took 20 seconds or less to put those down there and I'm just going to go over them with my Stabilo wall just around them a little so they pop and typically when I my color palette tends to be pretty close all the time even though I do change it up every once in a while but it makes it easy because a lot of stuff, a lot of the colors that I have on other projects, and all of these are, are like journal pages that I did. And then I turn them into stickers. So she was like, Tiffany, I know people would want to buy those if you would do them in an Etsy shop. So I may actually do that. I haven't decided completely yet. And now that I have that, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm going to go back with this purple over this. I feel like it needs something right there. And remember, guys, a lot of this stuff is just how do you feel. It still had some of that blue on it. It's kind of cool, huh? Um, what do you think it needs? If you, you know, feel like it needs something over here, then put something over there. All right. So if I close this up, this is our mail art piece that we have. Okay, and I really like that. I don't, I'm not going to have anything else. Um, maybe just accentuate these dots a little. 
And I'll go ahead and show you because now what I would do is I would simply just move over to my sewing machine and I would stitch it up the sides. Um, I may actually even use some of the muslin um, that I have here and go around it like this. Haven't 100% decided on that, but I was going to show you one that I finished. Um, so you can kind of see this one it has flowers on it. I can uh, I use some ledger paper, I believe is the background on this, and then I sewed it up, top and the bottom, and kind of gives it I don't know a different kind of look. Little flowers. Super simple to do. It's amazing. I love mail art because it touches so many hands between the person you're sending it to and your address. So I hope that you learned something new today. Remember the techniques that I show you in any of my videos are not just for mail art or not just for journaling. You can totally cross over and do it any which way. You could do that on canvas if you wanted to. But I hope you can see how easy it was and how um, super awesome that would be to get into your mail. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you do like what you've seen, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again very soon. Thanks.